Do you know that there is a difference in this general election from other general elections? You have there are many differences, but I want to just tell you what one difference is that has not been talked about. And that is that in this general election, the PAP has not accused the opposition of not having an alternative plan for Singapore. And you know why. Tonight, I want to talk about my $60 billion economic plan in some detail, depending on the rain and the time. Dr. Vivian Balakrishna was reported to have said today... In my shit. <laughs> he was reported today to have said that he disagreed with my statement that $60 billion was more change compared to the National Reserve. I have this to say to Dr. Bala Krishna. It is very easy to establish whether it is more change or not. Just publish the figures of our National Reserve. With detailed breakdown, yes. Singaporeans have been wanting to know what our national reserves are. Yes. Yes. The late president, Mr. Ong Teng Cheong, wanted to know too. But he could not get the information from the government. Dr. Balakrishna, if you can get it published, Boom. Singaporeans will be very grateful to you. Yeah. Yeah. In the past several days, various PAP ministers had accused me of wanting to close down factories and abandoning manufacturing. This is not true. It is a gross distortion. Let me read to you the relevant extract from my report. I quote, existing manufacturing firms should not be forced out. They should be allowed to remain in Singapore if they continue to survive and be profitable like any other business enterprises without depending on special favors from any state agency such as rent subsidy, tax incentives or special allocation of foreign worker quotas. Existing incentives already granted should be allowed to run their course, but no new incentives should be given." Unquote. This was what I said. Do you see and do you hear anything about closing down factories? Why should I ask, why should I want factories to be closed down? I got friends. And they have families who work in factories. So him! So him! So him! So him! I hope this will settle the issue. I will now touch on my economic plan. Recently, many Wo 我要讲到我的目标 who want to shift out into services or to relocate their manufacturing operations to neighboring countries. Number two, enterprise 
regeneration. This is meant largely for young Singaporeans who want to start up their own businesses. Business ventures, particularly in the creative industries. Creative industries are those like publishing, IT, um, the arts, entertainment arts, food and graphic beverage. arts. Food and beverage. Yes. I also food and beverage. Yeah, you are in that industry, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I just opened a restaurant. I, I, I'm very young. I just opened a restaurant. Okay, good. Good, good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> if you are come, if you are. If you want to come, you are, you are welcome. Good, I thank give you FOC sashimi. FOC. Yeah. Uh, creative industries, you know, our young people want to go into those industries. They don't want to go into manufacturing and all that. So, um, these are the, you know, Facebook, Google, all come from humble beginnings. Yes. I think we should give a chance to our own people, young people who are well educated and well traveled and they can find traction with these industries do well and excel so that we can have the future by two facebook by providing grants of up to one million dollar to each startup the 10 billion dollar fund will create 10,000 enterprises who will hire at least 20,000 to 30,000 Singaporean staff. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I not, not just Facebook, not just Facebook, Twitter also. Schools regeneration. Woo. I have made the point that our class size is too big. We, have, we still have 40 students per class. That's too big. That was what happened to me 40 years ago. There has been no improvement. No I want space. class size to be reduced to half, 20. No space, no app. This means, this means doubling the number of schools from 300 to 600 or so and doubling the number of teachers from 30,000 to 60,000. These are good jobs, noble jobs, not casino jobs. Yeah. Not dirty jobs, not dirty jobs, not dirty jobs, not dirty jobs also. Yeah, you know, <laughs> parents in Singapore spend hundreds of millions of dollars on private tuition for their children. Yeah. If you have smaller class size, they will cut down their spending on private tuition. Yeah. This is hard I will make one more point. I'm running out of time. I will make one point. Hospitalized, hospitals regeneration. Singapore is lagging far behind other first world countries in key indicators of health care. We have only 32 hospital beds for 10,000 population. About half the average number of 58 beds in high income countries. You know, in the last 10 years, the number of hospital beds in public hospitals has not increased. It has stayed constant at about 8,500 until Kute Port Hospital came along with 570 beds. Population has increased in the last 10 years and number of hospital beds has remained constant. Is this forward planning by the government? No! Oh, not enough! Please, not enough! I want to use $10 billion to increase the number of beds by a double in the next five years. So that, so that, so that our healthcare standards will reach first world norms. First world norms, that's what we are aiming at. I will not go through, I got no more time. I will speak about the other things later on. But I just want to tell you, we have an exciting plan. To, pro to generate good jobs for you, noble jobs for you, lots of jobs for you. Hey, hey, hey. We in the SDP will push for this program. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey.